Add some classic analog warmth to your tracks with the PSP AudioWare Vintage Warmer 2. You can use this on individual instrument tracks or on your entire mix. In this video, I'm going to do a quick review of the PSP AudioWare Vintage Warmer 2, and then I'll do some audio tests on individual instrument tracks like drums and bass, plus I'll check it out on an entire mix. I'm Zane from AudioTechTV.com, and on this channel I do weekly audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews to help you conquer the tech and unleash your creativity. I've included a link to the PSP AudioWare homepage so you can go there and check out all of the information that you want on this plugin, and I've also included a link to the PSP AudioWare Vintage Warmer 2 plugin on Plugin Boutique, just in case they have some sales as they often do on plugins like this. The regular price of this plugin is $149. Now let's jump in. You actually get three plugins with this. You get the PSP Micro Warmer, which provides the same sound quality as the big plugin, but with a more simplified single band interface and low latency performance, optimized for use on individual tracks. You also get the PSP Vintage Warmer LE, which is a direct descendant of the original PSP Vintage Warmer, with all its strengths such as low resource usage and latency. And of course you get the PSP Vintage Warmer 2 plugin, the main addition being the fat double sampling mode for even more analog sounding processing. PSP recommends that you use the PSP Vintage Warmer LE or the PSP Micro Warmer in all multi-tracking applications, except situations where fat mode is important. The PSP Vintage Warmer 2 plugin is recommended for mastering purposes and for groups of tracks or master buses only. But of course, you can experiment with it however you like and use it wherever you want. Now I love adding some color and warmth to bass tracks, so let's give it a listen on bass first. Now let's have a listen to it on a drum bus.
and quickly here's what it can sound like on an electric guitar. Now here's what it sounds like on an entire mix. Click here to check out 30 free VST plugins, or click down here to see what YouTube recommends you watch next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Simple Green Tech. I'm Zane, keep creating, and we'll talk soon.